probably a third of my income won't be available this year. Some of the projects I was going to do on the boat, I'm not going to do. I mean, you're going to tighten up your belt. You're not, we're not going to spend any money. We're going to be extra, extra careful. But this is this one ain't on us. This has nothing to do with overfishing. This is poor management of, of water. Uh, it's not just San Francisco. Um, it's Santa Cruz. It's Southern California all the way up to the Oregon border that's going to be hurt. Um, both sport and recreationally. You know, a lot of these guys depend on salmon season um, to make the bulk of their money. Also known as butterfish and sablefish. Well, there's other local species. I mean, we've got halibut, white sea bass, rock cods, ling cods. You know, there's crab, there's different things that we can sell, but nothing matches local king salmon. I mean, that's what everybody wants. That's the big seller. You know, that's what's on everybody's menu when the season opens up. Uh, it's going to hurt everybody here, uh, not only the business for the sport fishing uh, boats and the captains, but everybody that leads into sport fishing, they are going to be impacted also. Being part of the vanguard of uh, chefs that aren't embarrassed to say that they're using farmed fish. I think farmed fish has come so far in the last 10 or 15 years that it's not even, it's not even the same subject anymore.